fine day, fine weekend, whichever. So, um, apologize for taking so long for part two. This, this, this video is part two of the four-parter, um, te the technology behind the paranormal, the paranormal investigator. And, uh, reasoning is, I went through this before, got everything just done, was doing, going through the editing, and, uh, the computer hard drive crashed lost everything sure some of you can c connect with that you want to talk about frustrating all that time and time and stuff i lost let alone having to fix the computer so got it back up and running again getting all those boot bugs fine-tuned out of it so anyway there's my right there's my rant over done with so let's go on with part two audio recording the technology behind the paranormal investigator so it's our policy when we do an investigation that everything is recorded on a separate audio recorder. And for several reasons, that's just the way we do things. So yeah, we'll have the audio from the video camera, but also we're at all times we're, all, we're also recording from another, another audio recorder. So we have that for our own reasons. So, things to get into the audio recorders. Well, a couple of the um, technology things that I think we should be aware of because of um, how things can move pretty quickly when you're doing an investigation. Things can move pretty quick. It could be total boredom, or you can have that, you know, that bang, that knocking, uh, something happened real quick, the running across the floor, that whisper in your ear, get out. And so forth. So, the two really two words that, um, as far as technology on an on audio recorder, is um, two things. One of them is called the noise floor. What the noise floor is is that all electronics are inherently noisy. Okay. And noise floor is when there's no sound, no audio being recorded, no nothing. Is there any noise in the background? Reason for that is, remember, if we're, if we're recording a whisper or an EVP, it's kind of quiet. It fits so low that it, it goes into that noise floor. It's, you know, it's noise. It's going to be difficult to, to, to distinguish. But today's technology in the more, is more, much more advanced, so um, the better audio recorders and stuff we have nowadays, the noise floor is pretty much zero. But something to keep in the back of your head. The next thing is something called sample rate. Um, today's digital recorders don't record the audio nonstop. It does it at a rate. So it records a little bit, then it stops. Records a little bit, then stops. And then there's several reasons for that. Um, cooling, um, cost of parts, um, uh, um, hard, um, recorder, disk storage space. All that has to do with, with sample rate. And um, our scientists have done a pretty good job of splitting everything off. What, what sample rate is good for doing what. So, after the sample rate, um, in the world of audio, of course, in the world of audio, the spectrum of audio is pretty wide. And I'll be showing it right about here. And this is the audio spectrum. Okay. Then there's a small piece inside that audio spectrum that's called human hearing. 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. Now, a few of us who are really good in their ears and everything and they're rather young might be able to hear a little bit outside of that. But for the most part, it's 20 to 20. Okay. And then even in within that, there's another smaller spectrum called 
human voice. Now this is a, this is what differentiates the different audio recorders, okay? Because when you go to purchase one or look at them, take a look at what it says. Is it a voice recorder or is it an audio recorder? Okay. Um, you have an audio recorder, which is the less expensive. They do the job, don't get me wrong. I'm not knocking down any of them. Oh, another thing in, in, in this um, uh, recording, um, I will be showing different pictures of different types of equipment. Um, some of it we use, but I'm not backing anything. I'm just giving you basic pictures and understanding of things. And uh, just so you see basically what I'm talking about. Um, so I split it three ways. You've got your voice recorder, then you've got your auto recorder, which I'll say voice is low end, audio is mid range. Then you've got the newer ones, the HD audio recorders, and they can get quite pricey. So, voice recorder. The idea, the reason behind a voice recorder is just that everything the microphone, the electronics, the case. Um, the storage is, is, is not, it's, it's, it's less expensive you don't need because you're only dealing in human voice so it's a tighter um, audio spectrum band and you just don't you don't need anything that fancy and our scientists have determined the lowest sample rate that you could still hear the human voice because the voice recorder is just for that it's recording interviews, speeches, seminars, that kind of stuff, and the human voice. So that also comes to play in to the building of the voice recorder and what it has. So if you pay attention, I'm going to throw one of, this is the one that we use, that we have. Um, voice recorder, the microphone is a less expensive because again, you're in voice. It's mechanically connected to the case which is a problem. And then you've got the electronics and then you got less storage because it's a, it's a lower sample rate because you don't need that super duper of a sample rate for a normal human voice. But don't get me wrong, they do the job. We've had a, we've had a lot of good success with our, with our voice recorder and we still use it. Um, the things about the microphone, just to be aware of, the microphone it's mono, one direction. Because you, you get the little grill in it, and then all the rest of the microphone is surrounded by the case itself. So it hears, it hears best what's in front of it. So if you're aiming that way, and somebody behind you says something, you might, you might not pick it up. Or it'll be badly distorted. And plus, um, anything that happens to the case is directly transmitted to the microphone and then done recording. So if you move your finger or you hit something with your fingernail or if you set it down or you put it in your pocket, anything on that case is directly transmitted to the microphone, directly transmitted to audio and you think you hear something. So you got that's just something to keep in mind. And um, again, it's less expensive because it's a human voice and less memory and an audio recorder will have its own speaker a little one or two inch diameter eight cent speaker because a lot of times you want to hear what you were recording which is understandable um, that kind of stuff we'll get into when I get into part four the playback analysis so that's on and um, Another thing, like I said, if you do a test, which we have, if you do a standard audio recording, um, they're usually a three minute audio recording as uh, 10, 20K in size. So you can see you don't need that much storage space on the audio recorder, and you can do a lot of recording, a long time recording. Okay. All right, so let's go on to the next one the audio recorder. An audio recorder is different in a few ways. Oh yeah, and also remember, um, in other words, the, the sample rate is um, usually stored in an MP3 file. And you all know what an MP3 file is. 
I'm sure. Um, there's different and there's different sample rates within that MP3 file. That's not quite as good, but Tesla expect takes less space. And then you can go the other way around and get a higher um, sample rate MP3 file, which is sounds better. So, and a standard audio recorder. Usually the microphones will be better, normally in stereo. A little bit on higher ends of them, you might see some isolation between the case and the microphone. It's in stereo, a little bit better secret, um, electronics. Most likely, yeah, probably a dramatically lower noise floor. Higher sample rates, which also takes more space on, on so you'll see um, an audio recorder will have more internal memory space on it. So going back to our site, going back to the same normal three minute audio recording that's say 10 to 20k on a voice recorder, you're running around three, three and a half megabytes on an audio recorder. Because it's better quality, higher sample rate, and you're, you're recording in stereo. So more data, going to take up more room. And it's going to cost a little bit more. So now let's go to the high end. They've got these ones and these recorders are really not that old. Only a few years. Um, this HD radio. HD radio, yeah, right. HD recorders. Okay, this is a completely different creature. And these suckers can get high end on your, on your pocketbook. Just take a look at them. Um, the HD recorders, you'll definitely see where the microphones are definitely isolated from the case. They'll be either come out this way or they'll come out this way. They'll probably have um, a shroud around them so you can't get near or rush down and rub your finger against the microphone. More likely have a built-in windscreen and um, definitely in stereo. And you will also find out that instead of having a microphone, so we'll, so we'll go back, audio recorder, one microphone. Audio recorder, I mean, voice recorder, one microphone, audio recorder, usually two microphones for stereo, left and right. Okay, these HDs will have a microphone array. In other words, the left mic will have more than one microphone in it, and they'll be, they'll be at angles. So you have like three microphones for the left channel, and three microphones for the right channel. And the reasoning for that is, um, these, are, these are created and designed to record 360 degrees. So you set it in the middle of a room, which is what we do. You just take it, they're more sensitive. They got 360 degree game coverage. You just set them off to, to the center room someplace and you leave them alone. Because they're recording 360 degrees. So, so to handle all that extra data and all that extra signal processing, of course, you're going to be more expensive in your electronics. And the noise floor is zero. The Sample rate is much, much higher. Um, in fact, they don't even, on the HD recorders, they don't even use MP3 format anymore. It's, it's, it's inadequate. You've got the new ones, you've got WAV, you've got OGG, AAF, and I think there's a couple of different ones other than that too. And these are just for these high fidelity, high definition audio files. So again, more. So let's go back to our three minute recording again. Audio, uh, voice recorder, three minute recording, 10, 15, 20K. You go, to, you go to the audio recording, you're running three, three and a half megabytes. Okay, on an HD audio recording, that same three minute file, you might be running 30, 40 megabytes. A lot more storage. And of course, mo most likely external SD card because the basic design of it and so forth. So, again, any questions on any of the phrases or terminologies that I use or things you want to go over more thorough, please leave a comment below or you can just Google it. And um, if I get it on between the four of them, I'm hoping if I get enough questions about some of the terminology or the, or the way I explain things, I can do a fifth video just on answering questions. So that ends video number two, audio recording, technology behind a paranormal investigator. And 
These are my final words. Later.